Peter's answer. C. Both sieves can hold the water. When water hits the sieve openings with momentum, it always flows through, no matter how small the openings are. If, on the other hand, the water in the glass is turned upside down in a circular motion, so that it has no velocity towards the sieve, it only presses on the sieve and its opening with its weight. However, the surface tension of the water is so strong that it does not flow through the sieve opening under these circumstances. This works even with holes several millimetres in size. With even larger holes, the surface tension is constant, but the larger surface becomes unstable so that small disturbances are sufficient to tear the membrane so that the water then runs through the sieve under its own weight. Try sieves with different sized holes. Do you always manage to hold the water?